it's Michelle and welcome to my vegan kitchen. So I was taking a nap and as I was sleeping, I thought about the cauliflower that I've had in the refrigerator for about a week. So I was like, I gotta make it today. So this is impromptu. I just jumped up and I was like, let me grab my camera and I'm gonna film me making General Soul cauliflower. It's so good, it's so easy, so just stick with me. I'll be moving a lot in the kitchen. Just follow me. This is really easy. Let's go. All right, so let me grab the cauliflower. And like I said, the cauliflower was on sale. I grabbed it. Didn't know what I wanted to do at the time, but we're gonna make, like I said, general so cauliflower. Right. Let me grab some ginger also. Grab some ginger. And I think that might be, oh, let me grab some just egg, and I think everything else I might need just in the pantry. Let me grab some flour. Get that out. And my general soap sauce. I think that's all I need besides the seasoning. All right, so let's put this on the side. We're gonna get the cauliflower ready first. You know what I should grab also? Let me grab my wok because that's what I usually fry. Ooh. Hold on a second, guys. I got a lot going on down here. All right. I got it. So let's get that on there. I'm not going to turn it on yet because I have some prep to do with the cauliflower and I don't want it to get too hot, but I just wanted to get that ready. All right, so let's get this cauliflower. Nice. Cauliflower. Oh, guys, it's one of those vegetables that I did not care for. Okay, this still looks good. This, it, it still looks like we could work with it. All right. But it's one of those vegetables that I really did not care for. I don't know. It just, I think it's something my mom told me, like, when I was growing up, the way it looks to her, and it just turned me off. But I have developed a really really nice love of cauliflower because it really has no taste and you can really fry it up and it comes out tasting really good. All right, so this is how I do my cauliflower. I'm gonna cut through these pieces and try to get rid of that middle stem and just get to the pieces that I need. Okay, so I cut through and I have all these small pieces but I want it to look almost like little pieces of chicken. So I'm gonna break these down really small. And I also find when you break them down to a smaller size, they just cook better. So what I can't break with my hands, I'm gonna use my knife and just make them a little bit smaller. Just like that. See how this is the size? Because this is to me like a good size that you could like, you know, bite basically. So we're just gonna put them in a bowl. All my little pieces. And I'm gonna clean them. Just add some water to the bowl. So come with me. And just add some water to the bowl. Just not too cold, not too hot. Just kind of like room temperature water. And just really wash my cauliflower. I'm gonna throw off that water. I probably should have did this in a colander, but okay. Then I'm gonna add water to it again. I just like adding water to the cauliflower. I feel like it refreshes it and just kind of plumps it up a little bit because it's been sitting in the fridge for a little while. So we're just gonna fill it up with water and I'm just gonna leave it here on the side and start with my other ingredients. So let me take this board off, I'm gonna do that. All right, so I'm gonna put this on the side. This is like my little makeshift garbage can. <laughs> a little makeshift garbage can right here. So I'm gonna grab, because we're gonna need batter for the cauliflower. So 
I'm going to use just egg as my liquid batter and then I'm going to use flour as my dry batter. I'm going to season them both. Now, if you can't find just egg, which sometimes you can, sometimes you can't, you can use, um, you can also use, oh, I'm forgetting what I'm about to say, flaxseed. You could use ground flax seeds and water. That's gonna give you an egg-like texture and it's gonna be just like using just egg, okay? So let me grab two bowls so I'm able to make that, okay? Give me a second. enough so you know you know eyeball it because you just need enough just to be able to dip your cauliflower in and I'm gonna put some flour in that other container you think you're gonna need. For some reason, I always put more than less because you don't wanna run out of seasoned flour. And now we're gonna season the flour because you have to season your flour. As Soon as I get that cauliflower out of the water, I'm gonna add some salt and pepper to that cauliflower to season it up so it can kinda of sit in the season for a little while. I'm gonna add seasoning to my egg and I'm also gonna add seasoning to my flour. I'm gonna use a combination of garlic powder, paprika, 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 <laughs> um, black pepper and garlic powder, paprika, black pepper and salt, okay? So let me go do that. Let me grab the seasoning. Okay, so I grabbed the colander because that's just gonna make my life a little bit easier. I'm gonna pour off the water, put a cauliflower, and just place it in here so that it could still drain a little bit. Get that water out. And while that's draining, dry my hands, I'm gonna season up my, um, my batters. This is a good time for me to turn that stove on and get it nice and hot because we're gonna place a lot of oil in that pot and we wanna make sure that oil is completely thoroughly hot because we want it to just like get crispy, nice and crispy the minute that we stick it in the pot, all right? Let's do that now. So I just turned my wok, medium heat. Let me grab some oil. I may have to get some more oil. Okay, so I opened up another oil, and as you can see, I used like half of it. And sometimes that's why I don't like to fry, because I just hate having to use that much oil. But I used half a bottle of my grapeseed oil. And I'm gonna let that heat up for a little bit, like I said, on medium. Let's season up the batter. All right, so garlic powder and paprika goes in my egg batter and a little salt. Now everything is gonna be seasoned, so I don't wanna use too much, so I'm just doing a little salt, but it has to be seasoned. And in my flour, black pepper, garlic powder, tons of garlic powder, and paprika, and I said it right this time, not paprika. Okay, got that in there, put that to the side. Now let me look at my cauliflower, so all the water should have drained out by now. Nope, maybe not. Let me drain it out a little bit more. One fell back in. All the water. Okay, so here's the lineup. We got the cauliflower, we got the wet batter, we got the dry batter, and we have the oil going. Perfect. 
All right, so I have everything ready. My oil is still heating up. I have my ginger here. Now, even though I'm gonna use store-bought General Soul sauce, I still wanna add a little kick to it, and ginger is the perfect way. So I'm just gonna break a little bit of this ginger off. This looks like, I call it like two fingers, two fingers worth, and I'm using a, uh, a spoon. We call this like a grapefruit spoon, because you could like cut into your grapefruit, and it has the ridges. So it's gonna be easy to peel your ginger. So I'm just gonna peel my ginger into my makeshift garbage can right here. And I don't have to get all of the skin off, but I wanna get some of the skin off, you know? Cause you don't want, you know, that skin in your uh, sauce. So I'm gonna get as much as I can and I'm just gonna grater some of this ginger. So that's how much I got off. And here's my little hand grater. I'm just gonna grate on my ginger. And you're not gonna see a lot fall into the, the bowl, but on the back end, that's where all the ginger is. So you're gonna scrape that into your bowl. So that'll be ready for your sauce the minute that the cauliflower is all fried and ready. Okay. So I think that's about it for the ginger. This is the side. There's still some. I could boil that up and make some tea. But that's how much ginger we got, all right? this on the side and now we are ready the oil is sounding right it's really right it's really hot so here we go i like to have one of these i guess it's called like a fry strainer i'm not sure but i like one of these because you want to be able to scoop out a larger mouth and my tongs i'm going to have two of these tongs dry and a wet. Okay, so let's put these on the side. I'm gonna get, I'm just gonna grab, grab a little bowl because I'm gonna try to get a couple of cauliflower in here and then just transfer it to the pot because I'm kind of working in the middle of these two calories. This is on the side. All right, ready? So this is for wet and that's for dry. So this is my end bowl. All right, this is my lineup. This is how I do it. I don't know how everybody else do it, but this is how I do it. I'm gonna take a piece of cauliflower, drop it in my wet batter, and then drop it in my dry batter, coat it, put it in the bowl. Cauliflower, wet batter, Drop it in the dry batter, coat it, and I'm just gonna continue to do that over and over and over again till I get a good amount, okay? Okay, so we got our cauliflower ready. I decided not to do all of the cauliflowers. I did like half a cauliflower. I'm gonna use this for another recipe, probably like a curry recipe or something like that, because I really only need this much. So. Let's go to the fryer. Okay, so I got my little, my, my, my thing there. I'm just gonna drop this in. Let's turn some light on so you guys can see. So medium heat. You can see that pot is really hot. So the minute we put it in here, it's gonna start to cook. And you know what? I'm gonna use my hand. You know what? Let me use some tongs. <laughs> Safety first, right? I don't want you guys to think it's okay to use your hands, but cooking forever and I just like using my hands. It's just easier. I don't even feel the burn anymore. I'm just trying to get some of the water off of my uh, tongs that I just washed just so it doesn't splash. All right, so let's grab one cauliflower, drop it in. Ooh, I love the sound of sizzle. Drop it in, drop it in. It's gonna brown up real fast. Drop it in. And I'm probably gonna do two batches because I don't want to make this too crowded. There it is. All right, let that fry up. I'm gonna flip these. We're gonna look at the cauliflower. I'm gonna flip them so they can easily, evenly on both sides, and that's what they look like. It's a pretty, pretty little cauliflower. Look at that. I also. Over here, I have a plate with some uh, paper towel on it. 
because I'm just gonna, once this cooks up, it'll probably take about like two to three minutes. I'm just gonna remove them up and put them on the plate. And then just add the, the next batch in, and then we're gonna chop it up and taste it. I yeah, know that's my favorite part. All right, guys, look how beautiful this is. They're so pretty. Now, honestly, if you wanted to, you could eat these just like this. You don't have to put sauce or anything on it. They're well seasoned. Remember, I seasoned every single batter and the cauliflower, so it should be really good. All right, let me put the next batch in and then we'll continue with the sauce. This was the second batch. Oops, this is, oops, these up. I know I shouldn't use my hands, guys, but I, I can't help it. I can't help it. All right, so we scoop those in there, and I'm just gonna put this hot skillet over here on the side because we're gonna pull out a whole other skillet. Look how pretty these look. Just look. Oh my gosh. You literally can just eat them just like that. It's just gonna taste like fried chicken, basically. All right, so let me grab another skillet. And this time I'm just gonna use like a nonstick skillet. It's still cast iron, but it's my nonstick skillet. I'm gonna heat that up. And you know what? This skillet is gonna be where I put the ginger and the sauce and all of that, but I'm feeling real frisky. Feeling real frisky, so I think I'm gonna put some, some pepper in there. Um, I just usually pick like two and I just, just slice them just a little bit like that. Just to release some of the pepper. And then, there we go. I'm gonna take them and I'm gonna place them in that hot skillet. This is gonna release the flavor that I'm looking for. All right, I'm just gonna let them get like really scorched before I add the cauliflower. Instead, I'm gonna add the cauliflower and I'm gonna add the ginger and then I'm gonna add the sauce. Take a look, look at these um, Thai chili peppers. You see, they're nice and scorched on the top. That is perfect. So when you hear them popping, I'm just gonna add in my cauliflower, and then I'm gonna add in that ginger. And the ginger that I made earlier, just place it right in there, okay? Just like that. And then I'm gonna add, and take a look, let me show you guys. This is the um, General Soul Sauce that I use and I love. This is from Trader Joe's. You don't have to get it from Trader Joe's. I've tried others. You hear that pot? That pot is dancing. It's having a party. I've seen other um, General Soul Sauce in like in the, your regular supermarket. So you could get any one of those. They, they pretty much have the same kind of flavor, but this is just the one that I have today. And I'm gonna pour like half of this bottle. Right in that pot. Down a little bit, and I'm gonna combine it all, and I'm gonna turn the heat off. So whatever heat, whatever heat is in the pot right now, that's what we're gonna use. And that's it. That's literally it, guys. That is my general soul cauliflower. Look how good it is. It's gonna be it has a little heat, a lot of sauce. I'm gonna place it over rice. So just come with me and I'm gonna show you what it looks like plated and then it's time to taste it. My favorite part. So you know I love everything to look pretty, right? So here we go. Some green onions. I'm chopping up some green onions all the way through from the white to the green. We're gonna sprinkle that right on top of our general so cauliflower. So I just chop that up. That's what we have. And I'm gonna get grab some rice. So this is my ooh, <coughs> ooh, excuse me, guys, the pepper. Ooh. All right, so I'm grabbing my plate. I'm gonna grab some rice out of my rice steamer. So guys, come closer because I want to show y'all this. I always got rice or something cooking in my rice steamer because you never know when you're gonna need it, and you really shouldn't consume hot rice. A room temperature or just um, cooler rice is better for you, but there it is, it's in my steamer. So let me grab just a spoonful. Okay guys, 
I'm gonna grab some toasted sesame seeds. Oops, we're gonna place that on it. All right, so toasted sesame seeds. Let me get my general so cauliflower. Look how good that looks. You can't, you can't, you can't tell me you don't want to try that. Even if you're not plant-based, you can't tell me you don't want to try that. All right, so I'm gonna scoop a little bit. Let's plate it up. Mm -mm -mm. Get some of that pepper in there. Make it look pretty. Look at that. Mm, it's sticky, sticky, yummy, yummy. And we're gonna place some of that green onion to make it look scrumptious. And let's add some sesame seeds. All right, guys, we did it. We did it. Okay, guys, my favorite part is the tasting part. I hope this is not too hot. Let me find like a piece that I think is not as, you know what? It don't matter. Let's go with this one. Look how good this is. Maybe you swallow. But this is perfect. If you guys can get those Thai peppers, those are really nice because it's not too hot. And this is if you like spicy foods. If you don't, you can leave it out and just get the general so, um, sauce. But this was so good. You guys have to try this recipe. Cauliflower just makes it just, it's really light. It's not too like heavy, but it's still crunchy. This is really good. Guys, I want to thank you so much for jumping with me in the kitchen. This was kind of impromptu. Like I said, nothing was really like in order or planned. This is how I work in the kitchen. Sometimes it just comes to me and I just jump in and start cooking. But again, thank you guys for joining me in my vegan kitchen. I hope to see you next time. And don't forget to subscribe. Push that little button right down there and subscribe to my page. I have plenty, plenty of recipe ideas and some healthy things too, so you might want to tune in. Bye, guys.